hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial from clo 3d to blender and in this tutorial i will be explaining how you can make your um clo design look realistic on blender so i'll be providing necessary things you need to do to maintain um this realism while you are exporting your design from clo 3d and to give you the best quality when you import it on um, blender so um don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell to um get more videos so um on the screen right now you can see a t-shirt and this t-shirt i'll be explaining what you need to do and what you should not do when applying when using a fabric on a um t-shirt or depending on the design you are using it doesn't necessarily have to be a t-shirt but anything you get so let's um begin so let me go to fabric so this is fabric so um let me search for knit the knit is what i'll use for the uh body of the um t-shirt so let me just do this here i'll put this here then i'll be using a rib also that'll be for the neck yes let me just apply this directly to the neck so yes so uh the other part of the I'll just select this yeah oh, sorry not this this other one this and i think this should also be this too yes let me delete this fabric okay um anyway the fabric is looking transparent but then when you render it it's not going to be um transparent let me just use this quality render 3d render so um now these are the things you should do and these are the things you should not do now so in a situation whereby you want to change the color of the fabric you are using you don't want to use this um default um color that comes with the fabrics now let me select this rib for example now the first thing you should not do is to delete this texture just because you want to change the color because the default color of this um rib neck fabric is white this is white here so look at it so when i select white it's not changing to um white you can see it's still giving me this default um color so for you to be able to change this color to white what you need to do is to desaturate it you get so when you desaturate it, it automatically changes to white. And also, if you delete this also, if you delete the texture, it changes to the default color. But there's something you should look at. So now, see this. And when I undo this, so that the texture, you can see this has um, high quality um, rib than deleting it. Because when I delete it, you can see the rib is not looking more of high quality anymore. And these are one of the things that will affect the quality of your um, design on Blender. So... It is very important not to delete the texture so let me undo it and bring our texture back so what you need to do is just to desaturate it so when you desaturate it then you can change the color or if you want to use the white color you can use the white color but let me use let me see let me use this so let me apply and close the same thing we are also going to do for this um knit for this knit fabric so we're also going to desaturate it because the default color is brown yeah and as you can see this is white so no matter how many times i double click on the white it's not changing to white the white color i want so what i need to do is to select desaturation so yeah so just desaturate it if i delete it it's going to change to white automatically but also it's going to affect the quality of the um fabric texture so this is it and then let's use um this orange color and let's apply and close the next thing is our um, uv editor let's go to the uv editor so this is our uv editor um there are two ways you can arrange your uv editor or your uv map on your tile this is that use the optimize or you just do it manually and when you are doing it manually depending on how uh, bulky your patterns are make sure you don't shrink them if they are too much just spread them out in a box you can just spread put one here put one here i know most of us don't know how to export as um udim tiles when you are using multiple um tiles on blender they call it um, udim tiles because that is the only way it can arrange your um tiles properly to look um good on blender or else you'll be having a lot of um issue with importing the um maps so you can either spread it out you can spread it out even even for a t-shirt itself you don't necessarily need to follow the normal um way of people arranging their tiles so you can decide to put a pattern here put another pattern here put another pattern here and put another pattern here. that makes it like three tiles so when you are um baking the um uv map 
you can just see big all the tiles you get so it's your choice you can just drag this and drag this here but then we won't do that here if you want to um export as um you do im tiles so the link is up there so it will explain um or it will give you a full detail on how to export as a uh, multiple tiles but for this tutorial i'll be using um a single tile method so um let me just shrink it so when you are shrinking it make sure it's not too small when i say too small like something very very tiny because when it's too small like this then it affects the um texture now it affects the quality on blender so ctrl z ctrl z let me let me shrink both at the same time so that they can maintain um, the same size so this is what i will do shrink. yes and you can just arrange it yeah okay so this size is fine and for the and this is it's only looking too big so i'm coming actually they are on each other i'll be they are overlaid on each other i don't know how to put that but anyhow so let's um sorry i'm supposed to shrink both i don't want to yeah let's do this again so make it small yeah yeah this is fine yes i'm sorry i know there are two of this so this is fine and then we can do like this bring it here and then we can also bring this one here too yes and also this is for the um i think this is for the thread or any detail or any um detail on the um t-shirt so um this is fine like this so like this is fine this size is okay for um um baking you can use this side and still uh, maintain quality on blender but don't make it very very small like very very tiny spread it out on all the tiles yes so um the next thing we'll do is to bake this bake texture so i'm going to bake it zero to one so if you're using multiple tiles just select this and select all tiles so it's going to bake all the tiles if you are using 10 tiles it's going to bake everything for you so um but i'm using just uh, one tile so let me just select the default to zero to one and this is diffuse and normal and this one is also um very very um important yeah the quality of your um map is very very important so um you can bake at 5 1 to 1k 2k 3k or 4k but then if you are baking at, at a very high quality that means you are not using um, a lot of um, t-shirt um, design on blender because the higher the quality um, it might affect the performance of your system that's probably um, laggy it might look laggy so like this animation you can see right now the quality of the um, clothes design are 1k just because i want to add a lot of um, designs on that particular um, animation um, video so i had to make it wonky so that i won't have issue with um sluggishness or um, slow performance of my pc you get so but then if it's just one or two design i think 8k is fine or 4k is even fine 8k is not too much but then 4k is fine but then if you still want like highest of all quality then you can go for the 8k uh, let us go for the 8k in this tutorial so um saving part let me just set t-shirt and save So now that we are done um, baking the texture, let us cancel this. So um, let's go back to our simulation. Um, I'm going to go to file. I'm going to be exporting this as um, Alembic, but then not as animation, but it's because there's a way you can export a non-animated design as Alembic. So I'll be explaining it in this tutorial. I don't like using OBJ because um the moment you export as obj the old shader looks so complicated you start finding the particular a particular color for a particular pattern or something like that you just have this complicated um, shader so i prefer just a one shader thing and apply everything on the um clue design at once so i'll be exporting as alembic so let me just select t-shirt or just save it as t-shirt sorry and save just make sure your unified UV coordinate um, PNG is marked. 
then select current frame we are going to use current frame so that's a single frame so and let's select okay so now um let's go to blender so this is our blender scene let's go to file let's go to import let's go to alembic let's go to where we save our file um i'm coming yes yes import so this is our um design or our t-shirt um mock-up design here you can see right now so um let's go to shader because we need to add texture to this so um okay come on let me zoom closer yeah so when i select this select your mock-up select new select your principal bsdf on your keyboard hold on Control shift t yes now go to where you saved your um, texture then go to the place and then select your map your diffuse just make sure you're holding on shift hold on your shift select your diffuse your diffuse sorry and your normal and you can see so this is what we have here okay let me switch to this mode so you can see it so let's wait for it to load okay yeah yeah we have it anyway it's looking um shiny it's looking shiny so what you need to do is just increase the roughness probably to 0 0.75 or 8 yeah this is fine yeah if so um let's go back to layout yet so this is layout um now to change some render settings so it can load faster so uh let me use um 64 and 64 let me just add a plane sorry just a small background so So and let me add the light name, light, light, light. Okay, let me bring it up and go here. Uh, let's try um, scale of thirty. And let me just increase the size. Yes. So um, let me go to sorry, let me go to cycles so you can see it on cycles. So, but then i have to render it it might not fully because i'm screen recording the performance of um, blender is going to be very slow or the performance of the whole system is going to be very slow because i am um, screen recording so um i'll render this particular um, design for you and you can check it out if you are satisfied with the result on blender then you can also use this method in um exporting your design from clo 3d to blender but i'm sure as you can see right now you can see the details on the t-shirt you will know that it's not just um orange but there are some kind of um patterns on it you get so let me zoom closer or probably zoom closer to the neck but then with the thread you can see that the results are great so i'll render this or you can see the render here right now so thank you for watching this tutorial don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell to get more video